From a young age, we are taught that there is good and evil in the world. Then what is good and what is evil? Evil especially has been considered as something peculiar, like a monster of the underworld. When we think of evil, it seems to be something that does not happen normally in people's lives. However, there was a philosopher who challenged this particular thought. It was Hannah Arendt, a German-born American philosopher. In 1961 Jerusalem, there was a trial of Adolf Eichmann. Adolf Eichmann was the lieutenant colonel of the Nazi party, who managed the mass deportation of Jews into ghettos and extermination camps during World War II. He was captured by the Mossad in 1960 after fleeing to Argentina when the war ended. Hannah Arendt attended the trial and wrote a book called Eichmann in Jerusalem based on her observations. At the trial, it turned out that the vicious Nazi devil Eichmann was rather a common man. He had no mental illnesses, he did not know about the Nazi party program, and he did not even read Mein Kampf. To justify his actions, he said that he was just following the orders of his superior and was being coherent with his contemporary society's beliefs. Also, Eichmann's actions were praiseworthy in Nazi Germany's perspective. Then can we say that what Eichmann did was not evil? Arendt concluded that no matter what the society's situation was, Sheer thoughtlessness was what made Eichmann evil. What Eichmann deemed simple paperwork was actually a crucial step in sending millions of Jews to death camps. The fact that Eichmann did not think about the consequences his action could bring was what made him evil. His unquestioning obedience to his orders made him a criminal who contributed to a genocide. Though some scholars argue that Eichmann was immersed in anti-Semitism, the banality of evil remains unaffected. People used to believe that evil is something that only can happen in serial killers, that evil is a distant matter beyond our judgment. However, the word and thought defying banality of evil was something that could happen in anyone. Then, what are some forms of evil in the modern society? What is an activity not punished by the law but is still evil? I would say watching spike in pornography is the evil activity. Spike in pornography, a common crime in South Korea, also known as Molka or hidden camera crime, are voyeuristic footages taken without consent by using hidden cameras at private places like public bathrooms and motels. This is not only a matter of spike in pornography. Watching any sexual footage taken without consent is contributing to the growth of evil. One might wonder, what if we can't discern? Well, it is a widely known fact that those footages indicate in their titles that they are taken without consent. Also, even it may be impossible to completely avoid spike in pornography, it is important to be aware of the harm it can cause to the victims. There has been 26,654 victims, whom were mostly women during the past 5 years in South Korea. Though watching spike in pornography is not punished in many countries, it is still a crime of sheer thoughtlessness. One might deem it as simple porn, but watching it is an evil deed that takes away the victim's privacy and human rights. In a way, it is repeating what Eichmann did out of sheer thoughtlessness. Therefore, always be aware of the consequence and the impact your actions can bring. I hope the right punishment and education can make our society free of spike in pornography. Thank you for watching.